Eric, you are director of a top university Master's of Fine Arts screenwriting program. Can we talk about how did you become qualified for the position? Uh, what's your background? What, what are your daily activities? Um, well, as, as we were talking about earlier, I had a background, rather extensive background, in surviving at least, surviving for 23 years as a screenwriter uh, and occasionally TV writer as well. And uh, so they came to me with this offer of the possibility of tenure track teaching screenwriting. I mean, this was 18 years ago. So this was at a time when screenwriting at the university level was becoming more and more in demand, more and more important. All the major universities, you know, one by one, were creating these departments and these courses, specifically in grad programs for the MFA, which is the terminal degree, which you need to teach it and so forth. Um, and I suffered over the decision because I was, you know, making a living uh, and so forth. But I decided to go ahead and uh, because I'd always wanted to go back to academe and I loved it and I loved the, the, ad, this, the atmosphere of it and the working with people. A writer spends 90% of their working life, you understand, in a room alone. It's not always good for the head and the emotional structure within, but uh, that's just you know part of the job. So you gotta find other ways of getting out of there and this seemed like a good one. And in the beginning, I thought I'd made a horrible mistake because it's a bureaucracy. It is, you know, it's something that I was not familiar with in terms of participating in and all that. But uh, as time went on very quickly, I met wonderful people in the faculty. Um, and the tenure track, the tenure track climb to full professor is not an easy one. I don't know. People realize that stuff. People throw, you know, they say, I'm professor of this and that. And there are very few of those around. It is, a, it is a process that can test and try one's endurance, endurance and, and, and other abilities, intellectual capabilities and all this other stuff. But one of the main reasons I did it was because I wanted to write a book about screenwriting. And I knew if I took the professorship, I would have to because that would be part of the package deal in order to get to full professor, right? So, but what I found was what I didn't expect, which was a career that is in many, many ways so much more fulfilling than being a screenwriter or screenwriter alone. Um, and we started working together, I mean, not just me, but there are a number of very good people in this department that wanted this MFA in screenwriting program to, to be born and to flourish, and we worked on it. And over the years, it grew and into something that we're all, well, yes, I'll admit it, we're proud of it. Uh, just in the last year and a half, by the way, relative to the program, again, forgive me for this, but uh, Let's see, it was, it was first uh, Hollywood Reporter included us as one of the top 25 film schools in America. Oh. And, and then shortly after that, Daily Variety put us in the top 40 film schools in the world. Wow. And it was a lot of work, but we were really pleased with the result, how far we've come. So it was a chance at a total second career and a very, creative one in its own way and, and fulfilling, fulfilling and rewarding. So within those 18 years, how have you seen the way students approach screenwriting or their view of it change? And I know we're in Los Angeles, <laughs> so it's totally skewed. I'm sure it's the same in New York, but mm. do you think, first of all, in other parts of the country, uh, this would be as successful, this program? I don't. I don't know, and I'm, uh, I don't know, but my guess is, my best guess is that I, it depends on the people running the department and the, and the program and how often they can get their grad students out to LA. But I don't know, I would guess it, it would be harder to be successful out beyond you know, a certain radius beyond Los Angeles because this is it. This is the movie TV making center of the universe, so to speak, is right here. And one of the things we can do is the people we bring in to teach, I mean, 
me, for instance, but even the part-timers and the lecturers and so forth. These are working people in the industry on a regular basis. They know, they know the truth. And uh, when you find one of those who is also a really good teacher, and that's, interestingly, that's kind of like two separate skills, but when you get that combo, you've got a really great, great faculty. And, uh, you know, you can, you can, oh, and also in, in LA, what's re we require this. We, I don't know if, if how many MFA programs in screenwriting have this. I, I know a number of them do, but I don't know if it's limited or not. We have uh, an internship program that is required in the last semester. So we send our people out to, we work, we have, we have a great relationship with a great number of, of production companies and development companies of material where our grads in screenwriting go out and intern. And it connects them with the business. And this is important and it helps make it a stronger program. It really does. And a lot of our people, no. One of the things you can possibly learn when you come to an MFA uh, screenwriting program may be that long term as a career, screenwriting or television writing alone for you may not be the right way to go for any individual. But there is so much to be learned in the program, so many tools to be acquired and mastered when they go out in their internships and meet the people doing this and producing this and the uh, creative directors of companies and stuff like that. One of the first things that happens when anybody gets hired, I mean at, at any level in, in Hollywood, uh, it's an agency, it's a, it's a production company, usually in the first week or two somebody drops by, you're juggling the coffee or whatever it is your, your, your task is, and they drop a script in front of you and they say, you know, I read this over the weekend, Will you, uh, tell me what you think of it on Monday. And it's all very casual and low key, but the truth is this is one of the most important moments of your professional life because how you respond to reading that script and how you speak of it afterwards will tell them a great deal about how useful or not you will be to a company going forward that is in the creative business. And our people do that very, very well. And so a number of, I mean, they, they can take a script. By the time they finish here, we've, we've beaten it into them, and they can take a screenplay, and they'll tell you exactly what's right with it, what's wrong with it, and precisely how to fix it. You know, its strengths, its weaknesses, what it needs to be changed. And, uh, and they do that well out there in their internships, and now we have a half a dozen or so of our people climbing the, the kind of the more business end, creative business end of the ladder and doing very, very well out there.